In one of my previous video, I was talking about the oil catch cans and why, uh, in my opinion, it's so important to have them or have one of them, uh, especially in the modern engines uh, with the direct fuel injection. Uh, a lot of viewers asked me to make a video how to install one. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install oil catch can on uh, specifically on an N55 engine in BMW. Uh, the reason why is because I've already started with N55. I just kind of want to finish it. There's not a real science about the oil catch can. Uh, they all work the same. Uh, they comes in a variation of the sizes of the colors. You know, you can have a, a transparent one where you immediately see what your level of the fluid that you need to empty. Um, this one will be probably for type of the car like this one uh, that just burns oil like crazy or maybe some kind of a Lexus. The, I would say the real trick would be to get adapters to really fit your your, your hoses in your car, for example. What I have here here is from the N55 BMW. Um, the size of this uh, would be around a half inch and the original hose in the car was almost three quarters, so you need to find a way how to actually attach them without, the, you know, without the making any leak. You just can't afford to make any vacuum leak within the engine because then it won't really help you. What I personally like to do is use a little bit of the Tavares Gold. The reason why, because the, generally the engine bay gets really hot. And if you're gonna use the rubber hoses like this, they tend to kind of squeeze, especially if you're using it for a vacuum. They can um, eventually get squished like this and you know, then it will stop the flow of the air. Uh, where if you're gonna shield it with a, with a gold tape, there's a great chance that uh, you'll fix this issue as well. So now let's take a look in the, in the engine bay and uh, see where exactly to hook it up. Typically you wanna install your oil catch can instead of your PCV valve. Usually it's located on the top of the engine where you will find some kind of a hose or some kind of a pipe that will go directly into your intake manifold or intake hose or anything that's related to the intake that then goes through your throttle body back into the engine. Normally it would be only the air, but if your PCV is a faulty or it just doesn't work as it should be, you're getting the oil and then you, you're getting all the problems uh, described in, in many other videos. For this type of oil trap, I have no other option than uh, use the original type of the hose that uh, had this uh, brittle plastic. That breaks all the time, so I just use the ends one here that's supposed to go in the, in the intake pipe. Another one here that goes from the engine head and uh, use the adapters. But because of the adapters are so long, you can always use your imagination and use something smaller or something you know, more appropriate. So I'm gonna have to actually twist this one 180 degrees. I'm still gonna secure it by one bolt, but not two bolts. This one like so. This hose will be your in. It's really important to actually keep them in the order in the right way as you're gonna connect them into the oil catch can. Every oil catch can will have a direction of the flow. This one goes in, this one goes out. So this one in will go from your PCV, from your PCV, means from your engine head, which one is, which is gonna be this one. Let me just make sure I have a right size, which will be something like, something like this. I'm just gonna cut it. We can't forget for a little bit of uh, Tavares gold tape.
Um, of course, you can put, uh, you know, a bracket here, here, so it doesn't really hang around. But uh, you would be surprised. It's actually not heavy. It, it doesn't really matter. You have a little bit of a force here. Uh, same as well here, so I don't think it will be that big of a deal. There's a one easy way how to check that your vacuum is not compromised. It's just open the, the oil cup and listen for a vacuum. You hear that? That means there's a still vacuum and you're on your good way to go. So this is how you're gonna install your oil catch can on M55 engine. I hope it will help you. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, looking forward to see you in the next video, bye-bye. Just to give you an idea how important the oil catch can is, is this. That amount of oil and gunk gets in there in only 20, 30 kilometers, no more than that. Otherwise, that would end up on my valves and completely cook them and restrict the airways.